What you're seeing here isn't science fiction. It's a concept plane design planned for the future. It's amazing to see what the future will look like. Here are the top 10 insane and amazing future aircraft. Number 15, the Airbus Project Maverick. Airbus is one of the biggest aircraft manufacturers in the world, so it should come as no surprise that the company is at the forefront of concept designs for planes of the future. In 2019, they revealed one of their more unusual designs, a jet that they call Project Maverick. The acronym stands for Model Aircraft for Validation and Experimentation of Robust Innovative Controls. And while many outside of the airline industry probably have no clue what that actually means, you only need to look at it to see how radical an idea it is. The wings are part of the main body of the craft, which significantly increases the space available and creates an interior cabin like nothing you have ever seen before. So far, they've built a six and a half foot long and 10 and a half foot wide model version of the design. But if testing goes well, they could see aircraft like this flying in the skies within the next decade. Number 14, Boeing T-7 Red Hawk. In 2003, the US Air Force began development of a replacement jet for the Northrop T-38 Talon with the intent that the new design would be able to enter operation by 2020. They requested designs from manufacturers and Boeing submitted their idea that was created in conjunction with the Saab Group, known as the T-7 Red Hawk, that was chosen by the Air Force as the successful candidate. And after conducting test flights in 2016, the intent is to roll them out into service by 2024 or 2025. With a cabin for two crew, they are powered by a General Electric after-burning turbofan that can generate up to 17,000 pound-feet of thrust, which, along with state-of-the-art flight controls and weapon systems, will make the Red Hawk one of the most versatile and effective aerial fighters. Number 13, the Prantiel D. Aircraft are responsible for far more than carrying passengers and cargo, with some being used to monitor weather conditions and even a spy on other nations. The problem these jets face is that with human pilots, they need to land occasionally to refuel and change crews. But one of NASA's latest designs could be about to change all of this. Known as the Prentiel D, which stands for Preliminary Research Aerodynamic Design to Lower Drag, it's an unmanned glider that's currently undergoing testing. With a 12 and a half foot wingspan and a weight of 28 pounds, the basic design principles are based on birds in flight and do away with the idea of a vertical tail entirely. Instead, they turn and bank, and this method could be vital in the development of low-drag aircraft designs in the future. If it works and is proved successful, we might not only see automated craft like this that are permanently flying in the sky, but the learning can be applied to commercial jets too. Number 12, Airbus EFAN X. We're starting to increasingly see vehicles on the road that use electricity instead of fuel, but because of the amount of thrust that's required, electric jets are still quite far behind. There are, however, plans under development to reduce the amount of pollution that jets produce, and one of the first is the EFAN X. It's a collaboration between Airbus, Rolls-Royce, and Siemens, and is a hybrid jet. Based on a BAE-146, one of its turbofans has been replaced by a 2700 horsepower electric motor, and the intent was for its first test flight to take place in 2020. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, the program was indefinitely suspended but the plans are to restart it as soon as possible. The fact that it's possible, though, proves that it won't be long until other manufacturers begin trying to do the same thing. And the days of large quantities of fuel being burned in the atmosphere could soon be over. Number 11, Airspace X. If you've ever dreamt about having your own personal aircraft, then Airspace X could be in the process of creating just what you're looking for. Their passenger drones are designed to offer an on-demand air travel, and will be able to drive to pick you up, take you to an open space, and then take off into the air. The craft are fully electric and can take off vertically, which means they'll be able to operate in even the most confined of urban spaces. Once in the air, the propellers will swivel to face backwards so it flies like a plane, and then will revert to the vertical position for landing. According to the manufacturers, the automated vehicles will have a flight range of around 60 miles, and will be able to achieve top speeds of around 250 miles per hour. Number 10. Boom Supersonic Supersonic passenger planes aren't that new of a concept. After all, Concords used to transport people around the world for two decades. But in a future that needs economical and environmentally friendly methods of travel, they were long thought to have been consigned to the past. Boom Technology has other ideas, though, and the startup, which was founded in 2014, has set the goal of designing a Mach 2.2 aircraft, which will carry 55 people and travel at up to 1,429 miles per hour 
They expect the plane called Overture to be operational by 2023 and have already built several scale models as proof of concept. Their latest, the Boom XB-1 Baby Boom, is one-third the size of what the finished version will be and is expected to perform test flights towards the end of 2020. Built with composite materials, it will be powered by three turbofans, will have the same delta wing shape as the Concorde did, and according to the company, could serve across 500 different viable routes. Number 9. NASA X-57 NASA is best known for its voyages into space, but the organization is also at the forefront and cutting edge of aeronautical design. The experimental aircraft, the X-57, is intended to develop technologies to show how future planes can significantly reduce their fuel consumption and emissions, as well as being much quieter. By incorporating technologies they've created for exploring outer space, they've often come up with some of the most radical ideas for aircraft of any organization. The base for this plane is a four-seater Tectum P2006T, but the wings have been removed and replaced with new ones that are fitted with electrically driven propellers. Known as the Maxwell, it will have 18 engines to drive the props, and the batteries will be mounted inside the main fuselage. At just 32.8 feet wide, the wings are optimized to reduce drag and be able to withstand greater forces, which means the aircraft should be able to cruise at around 58 knots, or the equivalent of 66 miles per hour. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 8. Airbus VSR 700 OPV Airbus don't just make planes, but they are one of the largest manufacturers of helicopters too. And in 2019, they revealed their latest concept design for one that can fly without the need for anyone on board at all. That's right, this is one of the world's first autonomous helicopters that's planned for large-scale production. Development began after a request from the French Navy who were looking for such a capability, particularly to be used as a reconnaissance aircraft that could be easily launched from frigates or assault ships, but have more maneuverability than traditional drones do. With a takeoff weight of around 1,500 pounds, it will be able to fly through any weather the oceans throw at it, and currently, good progress is being made, with the first successful test flight taking place in November of 2019. Soon, it's hoped that these can be put into service, and who knows which other industries will find they're suitable for their needs, too. Number 7. The Alice Commuter While aircraft designs of the future mainly focus on how mass passenger transportation will work, there are several companies trying to push forward the designs of a private aircraft, too. One such manufacturer is the Israeli Aviation Aircraft, who began developing a fully electric plane called the Aviation Alice in 2017. 95% of it will be built from composite materials, and it will have three electrically operated propellers, one at the end of each wing, and one at the rear of the fuselage. It's designed for a capacity of nine passengers along with the two crew required to fly it, and in theory, should have a range of 650 miles on one charge. Importantly, however, the operating costs will be significantly cheaper than equivalent-sized turboprop aircraft, even if you consider the initial purchase price of $4 million. Aviation also sees this plane as having potential as an air taxi. Instead of owning it, you'd be able to book a flight using an app and be able to make quick journeys between small airfields. The original plan was looking to conduct test flights in 2019, but these were delayed with 2020 looking more likely. If successful, however, we could all be flying in these by the end of the decade. Number 6. The Sky Whale Do you remember the first time you flew on a double-decker plane? Even though they've been in operation for many decades, there's still something awe-inspiring about them. You can always easily spot the massive Airbus A380 anytime you're at an airport where one is parked. If this next concept is anything to go by, however, the A380 could well become one of the minnows of the skies in the next 10 or 20 years. Known as the Agua Sky Whale, it was created by a Spanish designer and looks like a cross between a spacecraft from a sci-fi movie and a passenger jet. With three floors for passengers and another for the flight crew, it's absolutely enormous and could carry more than a thousand people on each flight. The design incorporates new materials that allow for self-repairing wings and swivel engines that would allow for a near-vertical takeoff, meaning it would be able to travel to virtually any airport in the world without being restricted by runway length. Furthermore, it's designed to be extremely efficient, too, and will use hybrid engines to significantly reduce the amount of fuel that's needed. With more passengers and less consumption, if it becomes a reality, this could be the most efficient passenger aircraft ever built. Number 5. The Flying V It's not just traditional aircraft manufacturers who are looking to the future with designs, but the airlines are doing it too. In 2019, KLM, the national carrier of the Netherlands, 
released details of its concept, a flying V aircraft, that they say will make long-distance air travel more sustainable. They moved away from the idea of having a fuselage and tail and combined everything together into one superstructure. The shape itself will cut fuel consumption by at least 20% because of the reduced weight and aerodynamic drag, but it'll still retain a 212-foot wingspan like an Airbus A350, which means it'll fit into the gates that airports currently have. The main differences you'll notice is that passengers sit alongside the edge of the wings, which significantly increases the number of people that can be carried at once, or if the airline decided, they would carry the same number of people but with a lot more space for each. The company acknowledges, however, that there are several hurdles that need to be overcome before these will be flying. Most importantly, how evacuations would take place in case of emergency. This and questions over how it would perform during takeoff and landing, particularly if there were crosswinds, means they don't expect to be running these as commercial jets until at least 2040. Number 4. The Airbus Bird of Prey Aircraft designers have long looked to creatures from the animal kingdom to inspire their ideas. But with the Bird of Prey, Airbus have taken this to the extreme. The concept, which they don't actually intend to ever build, was an attempt to inspire the designers of the future as a hybrid electric turbo propeller aircraft that would be suitable for medium distance flights. The wing and tail structures are just like those you'd see on a Falcon, and each feather would be independently moved to give an exceptional level of flight control. The way the wings blend into the main fuselage is something that'll likely be seen on many future aircraft because despite being more difficult to manufacture than current designs, it's far more aerodynamically efficient and will make vast cost savings across the lifespan of the jet. Birds have been flying through the skies for millions of years without producing pollution anywhere near to the extent that we do. So if we can learn from them, it's surely a good thing for the aviation industry and the wider world too. Number 3. Boeing TTBW when the Wright brothers first took off into the air, their plane had four wings that were connected together by struts. As material strength has increased since, we've become used to the sight of planes with just two wings. But could it be possible that the brothers had already designed something far more efficient that we'll return to? One of Boeing's latest concept aircraft is the TTBW, and it stands out immediately because of its unusual configuration. Known as a transonic wing design, the wings are actually so thin that they need to be supported by a truss that extends from the base of the fuselage and look very similar to the biplanes of the past. By designing wings like this, Boeing believes that they will consume 8% less fuel than the traditional cantilevered wing jets that are commonplace. There's virtually no sacrifice in terms of speed either, with a cruising speed of around Mach 0.8, which is 528 miles per hour, just a bit slower than that of a Boeing 787. The wingspan is also a bit smaller, at just 170 feet wide, and can even be designed to fold up, which would mean the TTBW could use airport gates that are designed for use with much smaller aircraft. Some of the technology required isn't quite ready yet though, so the earliest we might see these in the sky is 2035. Number 2. The Terrafugia There are some who think the future of aircraft will be massive passenger jets that will become efficient simply because they carry so many people at once. While there are others that believe the future will be the introduction of personal flying vehicles, which will virtually eliminate the need for commercial jets entirely, except for traveling long distances. Terrafugia, a Chinese company based in Massachusetts, definitely falls into the second category and have come up with a concept that everyone can surely get behind. Known as the TFX, it's a car slash plane hybrid that as well as being able to convert into an aircraft whenever you need, will also be completely autonomous, so won't require you to have a pilot's license. When driving on the road, it's fully electric powered and can be charged up at home, but once you have space, you can fold the wings out and you'll be ready to launch into the air. Flight requires the use of the fuel engines, but these are designed to be as efficient as possible and will even recharge the batteries while in operation. The rotors tilt, which means the vehicle is capable of a vertical takeoff like a helicopter, and then will swivel so it flies more like a plane. With an expected flight range of 600 miles, something it will be able to cover in 2-3 to three hours, the TFX has potential to revolutionize personal transport, all for a cost of around $300,000. The first are expected to be delivered in 2023, which means the future could be a lot closer than you think. Number 1. Vision VTOL Aston Martin is a company that's known for making luxury supercars and providing vehicles to British secret agents, but they too are looking to enter the luxury private aircraft market. But they're not designing personal jets and are instead working on a quadcopter called the Vision VTOL. The acronym stands for Vertical Takeoff on Launch, 
and the plan is for it to be fully autonomous and to use hybrid electric propulsion. It certainly looks the part, and they sure know their customers, targeting this model at what they describe as the high rollers that won't be able to afford to wait in the traffic queues of the future. The company's CEO said they are actively looking at ways to help reduce congestion and pollution while increasing mobility, and that air travel is an obvious answer to that once the technology becomes possible. Of course, it's unlikely that something like this will be on sale anytime soon, as it's proving difficult to create safe autonomous vehicles for the road, let alone ones that have to consider the three dimensions for air travel. Vehicles like this will one day become a reality, though. And if the ideas being presented by companies like Aston Martin are even a small insight into the future of transportation, then it's very exciting indeed. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.